And we're back, hopefully. If this isn't doing my voice properly, then I'm sure we'll find out later. So back to DOS stuff. Um, let's go to bot and just see what we have here. Because every time I stream, I have to come back and figure out how any of this works. So let's see, we have drive C, we have our MPCP binaries, we have some code here, and we have the bot code. And in our bot code, we have old stuff. We're looking for the stuff that interfaces with the assembly code. I think it's this, yeah. Okay, so let's just uh, dump that and rename this to bot. And let's open up a terminal here and a DOS box here. And we can do wmake and see if it makes. And it does not because we've had to change some things when porting it to the newer system. I think it was around in at stack. So let's edit the old file and look at how, right, we had to specify um, a handler. So let's put that in. Um, and grab the call there. Um, and let's delete this big warning here. That's fine. We don't need that anymore. Um, not sure why that's not indented, right? Is half this using tabs? Hang on. Uh, this is a mix of tabs and spaces, huh? All right, let's solve this by changing the tabs to be the two spaces. Yeah. All right, fixed. Solved. Not quite, that looks horrible. That's okay, we'll get through this together. Um, what about retab, does that help? No, it did not help. I think I'm fixing the style properly. I mean, that's sometimes it's four in, like that's four there instead of two. Ah, oh, this is a bit of a mess. Okay, well, we'll just ignore that for now. This looks fine. Um, let's just put a, All right, Vim's tab style is not correct, but that's okay, because we won't use tabs. We'll just use spaces. If I do that, all right, that's not good at all. Uh, how do I fix this on my regular Vim? I think I just set the tabs um, setting in a file and forgot about it. Um, so we might have to do that in a minute. Because we're definitely not going to be indenting using four tabs, uh, four spaces. All right, this looks reasonable. Um, can delete that, that doesn't matter. Um, and clean up socket. I don't think we touch the TRC stream anymore. Okay, that looks okay. Now, does it include ASM run? It does not. So I think that's because the make file
does not include the assembly file. No. Let's try that. Okay, let's run it. Um, it shouldn't have gotten any packets. Is it getting packets? Hang on a second. Something isn't right here. Or maybe it is right. Let's open up a Wireshark. Um, it would be a loop back, wouldn't it? Um, let's go control C or alt X. Neither which seem to be, oh, alt X did quit. Okay. I could probably wire up. Oh, now it's hung. Okay. Not great. Doesn't inspire confidence. All right, let's try running the bot again. And this time it's not writing random stuff into the output. So length 54, then 121. So we have, hey Kiwis, what's up? Response, that should be how many bytes? Length 54, and that is all gone now. And it's still not cleaning up properly. It would be good if I figured that bug out today. All right, 54 and then 121 it should be. Okay, so 54, 120, and then 187, which it didn't get. Not great. What horror are you watching? So let's go here. Let's remove this sleep. That could be doing more harm than good at this point. And then let's find the code where it does the old X hit quitting thing. That would just bounce us back to receive new packet, wouldn't it? Um, and then in pot scream, I haven't seen that, I don't think. That would bounce us back to Well, it should just quit. Oh, it could be that it's taking a while to clean up the um, buffers. It might have to add a note about that. Okay, bot. All right, it's too much. But that did like seriously quit. That quit too hard. It now just says that it's trying to mount stuff. What the heck? Wow, no swears in my stream, please. Otherwise you're going to go to jail for swearing. Um, and also don't be scared of movies. They're not real. What's your problem? New packet length 54, spouts garbage. New packet length 121, spouts garbage. Then we should get another packet. Where's the other packet? Where is the other packet? Where is... Mm, I'm not going to get mad today. I'm not a mad person. We're just going to be calm and collected and understand that if we follow... Wait, this is only two lines. What's that? Uh, show me how long this is, please. 175 bytes. So response, that is 54 and this is 121. So, and now there's a packet that should be an error, but I, 
close to the bot. What? Okay, so this might be working. Let's just test this again. So we'll do a retry, close without saving. I'm going to do bot, gets a new packet, doesn't spew stuff over the screen this time, gets another packet. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that. All right, I think there's two packets there because, because magic. Sometimes computers do magic. Okay. And then there should be an error packet in a bit. So is Scream like a romantic comedy? What's, what's the deal there, huh? Is it not going to send an error packet? Why? Okay, so we're going to do Alt X to quit and it cleans up the socket just fine. Wow. I'm proud. I'm proud of myself. Um, we did it Reddit. All right. So what stuff am I missing? Why is it printing garbage sometimes? Okay. Uh, I don't want that. That's not what I want. It's supposed to be printing stuff. What? Hang on, huh? What? I'm telling it to print stuff, but then it's not printing stuff. What the actual heck? So we call receive new packet. Righto. Good. We did that part. And receive new packet should give us a packet. Gotcha. Great. And then we should jump down to risk current receive packet. What did I just paste in by accident? What is with my mouse on this desk? It feels so unergonomic at the moment. Okay. I think something's up with, hang on, hang on. I know what's up. Hang on. Um, There we go. That's the issue. Um, if we just turn mouse acceleration up a bit, uh, it's too high. I think that works a bit better. Yeah. All right. So mouse acceleration. Now my life is complete. Now I will no longer be skipping over stuff. Wow, that took me how many streams to figure out? All right, so we have bot here. We hit Alt X to quit. And why is it not quitting? I guess it's because it's running the cleanup, I guess. I would hope so. Um, let's just write a print there then. What am I doing? This isn't the right place to write that. Um, let's write that there. We switch over to our DOS boxy. Um, that's hung for some reason. Could be good if we could specify a timeout. That'd be nice. Oh, it's not even getting to that point. It's still running. What? So when it does all X hitting, it returns a zero. Let's try moving this over to here. So it'll pack process all the packets and then it'll try and quit. Maybe I've somehow locked it up by doing it that way. 
He put tried to put a lid on a can. That's genius. What type of lid? Why is that printing garbage? Why is that printing garbage? Why is why is this not working? I'm not gonna get angry. Still 17 minutes into the stream. This is supposed to be a nice relaxing stream, hanging out with my friends. It was just a bottle lid. It must have been a pretty small can then. What is happening here? Why am I trapped in this eternal heck? Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Um, so what we will do here is we'll open up our debugger. Or we'll just read this code first. You're just very dumb. I don't know. I don't think that's how it works. You know, I was at my Christmas celebration and I was trying to help clean stuff up and I was like, should I pour this in the sink or on the ground outside? Cause it was like a pot full of uh, gross water. And my aunt was like, are you joking? No, that's, that's our gravy for dinner. And I'm like, oh, okay. So don't be like me. Don't try and don't think that stuff with all the dirty dishes is dirty stuff, even though it looks like dirty stuff. Okay, so I recall somehow screwing up this code earlier. So let's read through it carefully. We call receive new packet. We compare if it's zero and if it is zero, it jumps to no new where it pops. BP, yeah, moves zero as the return code and then quits. So that should be what's happening. Um, when it does have a packet, it'll move, um, shit. How does the move instruction work? I forget. I think it moves AX into DX. Uh, yeah, that's, I think it's right to left. God damn it. Oops, I'm not gonna swear. I'm gonna be pure today. Call current receive packet. So then we're gonna push the... I guess we're pushing it back to front. So we push the print format. We push DX. Um, and DX is the size, which we've got from here. Lame stream. Yeah, it is a lame stream. Thank you. I try to make it as lame as possible. So people, you know, bail out as soon as they can. Should it be around the other way? But should it even just work? Should it do something? Why is it not working? Okay. Let's try and be a bit of a detective about this. So it gets a new packet. Hey, Aria. You said, you said, oh, you said you're going to stream. Are you going to go stream now? Okay, I'll just quit my stream. I was going to do three hours, but I might as well clock out now with how well it's going. All right, so... 54, 121. So obviously we're not getting to the point where, I mean, I guess we're still looping. So we still are getting through this point, but it's not printing anything for some reason. And it's not quitting some other reason. Okay, how about this? How about we ditch all this printing? Wait, where's my proper text editor? I need a proper tool for this. All right, 
get all that color off this gross um we're going to just solve one problem at a time so we're not going to print anything we're just going to loop until there's no new packets that seems simple enough that seems like something i can't possibly m mess up <clears throat> Why is it pushing the base pointer? What the heck? Um, probably should push all the other stuff I'm using, like DX. Do I need to push DX? That seems like an idea. I don't know what the calling convention is. But I'm going to assume that when in doubt, push. Okay, so let's run the bot now and it should just get packets and then we go quit and it cleans up. Get packets and we go quit and it cleans up and we get packets. So this works now if I do that. Now let's introduce a little mayhem we get the current received packet as AX. Does that mess things up? No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? Suddenly everything makes sense. Not. That was sarcasm. Okay, so now let's do WMake again. And let's see if this works. What the hell? What just happened here? I got a stack overflow? What? Why? Why does it just give me happy, happy faces? What is this? I'm not gonna be mad. Here's what we're going to do. We're not going to be mad, but we're just going to see how to printf stuff properly. We're going to write code that uses printf and it's going to be fine. So let's see, here's some code that uses printf. Uh, we need something that has a format though. So what if we just do um, void print something void um, and we'll just do, uh, car A equals A, car B equals B, um, and then format format equals hello C, C, N, which be in double quotes. And then we, then we uh, print f the format with the arguments a and b. And then we compile that and we read the assembly. It might get compiled out, hang on a second. We probably need to just have it do like, let's put this in its own file, huh? Um, and that's frozen too. There. So that's our little C program there. I don't know why it freezes. I wanted to stop freezing when, when something happens, but I guess we can't have everything. Can we, can we? Not expecting a return value, that's fine. I wasn't either. And what did it make? Um, do we have object dump? No. 
Is it W dump? All right, W dump test.obj. God, what file did it make? Test.obj. Maybe the debugger will be out. Okay, this could be it. All right, that doesn't seem to be it. Oh, it's W dis. All right. So let's see, what does it do here? Oh, has it broken because it's using far pointers and I haven't been doing that. The memory model has changed. Everything has changed. Wow, maybe not. Okay, so it it moves um, 62 to AX and then it pushes it, right? Moves it again and pushes it. Then it moves um, L1 and it pushes that and it calls it. That should be fine. That's what I'm doing. How dare it not acknowledge this? Why does it not work? It worked before. We push AX. You know what? Let's just um, move um, AX zero. And then we'll push it twice. And then we'll, I guess, push the print format. And actually, no, you know what we'll do? We'll disassemble the bot code. Um, Hello.Och. All right. Um, disassem obj bot hello.obj more. It's wdis. All right, so we have here, we push AX and DX, then we push the format string and then we call printf. That shouldn't be too hard, but yet it is stack overflowing. Um, why is this doing this to me? How about we just print, how about we just print something and we remove the um, string things. We remove the specifiers, specifiers, specifiers. Okay, let's try this. It prints garbage. It prints garbage. Then it freezes. What is happening? What? Oh, all right. I get, I think I see what's happening. So this should probably be in, I think I have it in the wrong segment. Ah, uh, maybe. Hmm. Let's go to box. Let's do W dis on this test object and see what sections it's using. So segment const word use 16. What segment is that? What segment is that? What does that mean? We have segment text byte u 16. Um, hang on. Um, let's just do o test.exe. Will that work? No. I think we need to link it now. Ah. Just give me. Okay. Okay. All right. There, we return zero. Main returns an int. Happy.
D group. Group, D group, D group, const, data, BSS, all right. Segment text, um, and that's a routine. And then we're in the group, D group, underscore data, I guess, maybe. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm looking at. Let's inspect this code a little bit more then. AX offset D group L1. All right, I feel like I've just failed myself as a programmer because I don't remember how to actually make a binary from this. Um, how, do I make a, how do I make an actual binary? Help. All right, hang on a second. I can use the internet to figure this out. Whatcom build C program. Um, 16 bits. Okay, where's DOS? There's no DOS. DOS. L equals DOS 4G. Okay, so WCL, WCL. All right, I get you. All right, and now let's disassemble that, that sweet test.exe. I can't. Oh no, I can. I just have to open it up in the debugger. All right, so let's find main. Um, or maybe we could do like, yeah, code functions. It doesn't find it. Okay, exit. Um, how do we make sure we add debug on it? DX, I think that would help. WD test .exe. Where does it start at? Offset. Uh, no, there's no overlays. 84H, all right. So it jumps to 111. But this is in like the C library code. God, that I heard that beep, hang on. Did that blow your ears out? I'm sorry. Okay, so delete. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to beep. Let's try D3. Will that give us debugging stuff? There we go. Um, code. Um, window. I want to see assembly. All right, so it moves it. It moves. It moves these values onto the stack. Gotcha. That's not helpful for me. That's not helpful for me at all. I don't think. What is this? All 
Oh, wait, where does it call printf? Call near, point, near pointer printf. So it moves that onto the stack. It's supposed to be a Twitch bot. So it moves, that's in the same segment. It moves that pointer and then I don't know what this is doing. It's messing with the low byte of AX. So it's moving these values. Okay, so it's moving those about, is this 32 bit code? No, it's not, okay. So it moves those values onto the stack. And then, it moves the value into low. Okay, so it's just moving. I see what it's doing. It's moving values into the stack compactly. Then it's pushing them. Then it's running printf. Oh! What? Do I need to... I shouldn't need to add a value to the, hang on a second. Do I need to add, do I need to offset the stack for some reason? All right, let's just try this test. Okay, so that works. Um, you know what? Let's just debug the actual problem, which is in the hello assembly. So the problem is that we're in ASM run. So let's do WD bot. Oops, no, wrong file. <clears throat> uh, functions, ASM run, yeah, take me there. Or I guess put a breakpoint on it, I don't care. And then we're gonna just run. Um, yeah, off run go. So we're gonna do space, space, and then we're gonna put a breakpoint um, here. Um, yeah, so, oops. I didn't do it right. Okay. Um, send a... Send a break, please. Or is it F9? I forget how this was done before. No, I don't want to quit DOSBox. Are you kidding me? I'd never quit this. Control break, alt tab, control alt delete. Oh, that reboots the machine. Okay. Let's not do that. All right, so let's run that again. This code. Uh, Let's go to ASM run. Um, I don't want to place a breakpoint. I want to go to it, please. Take me to it. Okay, maybe we need to do search, find ASM run. Yeah, go there. All right, um, and so we want to break here. And 
and then we're going to run that. Okay, so we have a breakpoint here in our stack. Windows show, where's the stack? Code, data, it would be in stack there. Yeah, so we have on our stack, we have 4286. Uh, are we just moving zero for some reason in our assembly? Yeah. So we have 4286 and we call printf. Now in our data segment, that would be data segment and code segment are different. All right. That's the issue, isn't it? So, let's just quit out. So let's try and confirm this by doing, um, uh, do we have a register that we can save things in? Probably not. Um, let's just try and put this in section data. Will that work? Close this window, please. I don't remember the exact section segment. Hmm? Huh? 628.0, what? That's not what I wanted. Tea time, see you later. Yeah, big hugs. Um, Test.map. Sorry, not test.map, it should be bot.map. So where is our data going? Group, yeah, so we have a group and then segment would be underscore data class data. And then there's also far data, and then there's just data. So we can look for print format. It's not there. Okay, well, let's just try class underscore data then. Yeah, that, uh, that is a worse, that is a worse solution. Maybe it should be section data. Kind of brute forcing this a little bit. What sections are up here? So we have section So we have D group, where's code? Oh, that's auto. So D group, code, segment underscore text. And then we have data, data. So maybe it should just be like that. Okay, let's see if that works. Nope. All right, let's try and understand what's happening from this. So we have data, we have underscore data, and then we have data, and that's only 12. So I'm guessing that's my mistake there, and that it should be underscore data.
Let's see if that fixes things there. So we have an underscore data with a big size. And that seems okay. That seems like the right place for things to be. So where is data in this mess? That's a memory map. Then we have modules and data would start at 8B EC. Huh. Oh, would it be further up from there? So we have our hello thing there and that has ASM run. Um, it's not, ex oh, it, do, do I need to export that symbol? That might help global print format. That seems like it could help with relocation. So where's hello? So that has print format. Does that help? Not quite. Um, so I guess now we need to look at this code because if we're just moving print format there, um, is it not being relocated properly? So let's search up NASM relocation. Am I using NASM? There's groups. Then there's export. That's for DLL symbols. And there's start. Debugging formats. Do we want that? Maybe. Um, let's try hitting this up in a debugger, maybe. I still think the issue is that, um, well, if it gets relocated um, after compile time, you know, we can actually just check the object for that, can't we? Um, WDIS object bot hello. Yeah, and that does actually push the offset for print format, which would be a near pointer. Then we have segment data byte u16. Um, what about here? Let's see what it puts in its segment. Const byte u16. Text byte, data byte. Should this be section const? No. So there's, let's delete this test stuff. Oh no, that's an actual test program. That's not the bot test thing.
Hmm. Okay, let's open up our debugger then. And let's go to, is there a go to thing? Action. Window, search, find, match, code, source modules, functions, run, execute to until a given address. Try that. No. ASM run. Oh, that actually did work. Um, and then let's just execute until we're at the printf thing. So run to cursor. Okay, so we're pushing 1e2f and we're going to run, we're going to step over or run the cursor, I guess. No, that didn't work. That actually managed to kill the entire thing. Wow. Oops. That didn't work. Okay, WD bot run uh, to ASM run, and then run down to here. And so it's going to be calling with a data segment of DS and 1E2F host assembly done quitting unable to connect to host assembly done quitting that's weird that's weirdly close why is it almost there um is it always off by that much it shouldn't be off by any amount really um, that would be the wrong amount to be off by. Uh, let's go data. You know what? Let's put it in just data that we, we definitely don't have the like correct offset thing for. And of course that freezes because running the bot freezes things and I'm not sure why. We shall figure out perhaps today, another time. It's, it is unclear at best. Okay. Um, let's run to Uh, what? I didn't want to do that, whatever it was I just did. We want to run to, um, ASM run. Execute to ASM run. And then we want to run to the call. And so it has pushed zero into, uh, it has pushed six into the data segment. Why? That's not what we want. Okay, let's take a bit of a closer look at this. So let's see. Does this have any other strings? You know what? It actually does. It does have other strings. because I use printf a lot. So segment const byte use 16. 
then L, linker one, linker two, linker three, linker four. I guess because these are anonymous or something and it's frozen. It's really bothering me. So I guess we'll call it section const. Um, I want it to go into the data segment. There's our data. Okay, let's go to the contents and we'll just see if there's anything that we need to know about. Segments maybe. Um, okay, so section or segment, mangling signal, signal symbols, local symbols within modules, defining common data areas. Those seem important. Output format, obj. Probably want that. Producing exe files. Um, accessing data items. Those seem to be important. Okay. So accessing data idols, data whatevers we use. Extern, which is what we already do, right? Uh, producing exe files, segment data, segment code. Segment code. And let's just put segment data here, I guess. Maybe that'll help. Who knows? And we'll also just put here um, debug point so that when we want to when we want to um, jump to debug point or whatever, we'll just do that. Uh, when we want to break at it, we'll just do that by the name. Okay, let's do W make again. No new not defined debug point. Not, def oops. Um, I guess I can't do that. Because that breaks the function in half. Makes sense. <coughs> Yep, same error there. So that didn't help. Let's look at our bot map. We're gonna look for hello. And print format is going at 9861E4F. I don't know why there's like unreferenced symbol. So did I not reference it as a symbol? Hmm. Segment and section are the same thing. So we don't need the segment thing here. S 
static local symbols. Don't think we need that. Common. All right. Object extensions to the segment direct. Bell qualifiers are private, public, common, and stack. So what are we writing? We're not writing any of those. Align class. Class equals code, class equals data. We're doing that. Group is dgroup. I don't think it matters what I name these. That's what I'm getting out of this. These are just um, hints to things. So if I do, what if I just remove the group? No, I'll just leave it like that. Ah. Object format allows segments to be grouped so that a single segment register can be used to refer to all segments in a group. NASM therefore supplies the group directive, which will define a group called dgroup to contain the segments data and BSS. Like segment, group causes the group to be defined as a symbol. Low disk space. What's happened now? Oh dear. Why is X session errors five gigabytes again? Oh, of, of course, a dynamic X86 can't run code in this page. Of course, that's why. Of course, that's why, of course. It's fine. Let's just search up section text, class equals code, group equals dgroup. I might have to search this with Google on my other screen because DuckDuckGo is bad at searching. And it's f taking a long time to load. Is there like a Google cache version of this page? And I can't copy the link because Google has mangled the link. Uh, I can't right click copy the link cause it, they've turned it into garbage. And it finally loaded. Okay. Thanks Google. So small code model. That's what we're using. Small data model. That's what we're using. So memory model, small, small. Yep. Um, memory layout. All segments not belonging to the group. Okay, this is a segment ordering. All segments not belong belonging to the group D group with class code. All right. So the code class contains the executable code. Small code, this should be in text. Okay. Far data consists of the following, yep. All right, so it doesn't say anything about data.
Am I a little, am I a little cheesed? Perhaps. It's possible. Let's search up Nazem data. Um, variable move. I don't know what the hell. Nazem dos variable. Um, Nazem dos symbol relocation. Would it just be Nazem, Nazem offset? What is offset for? Is this because I'm using like two linkers? Could that be it? All right, so let's think about this logically and with patience and time and effort. Um, so one assembly code file creates one object. Uh, I couldn't create a folder. No space left on device. Why? What's using all my space? What's using all my space? What? You know what? Next time I stream, we're not using Ubuntu Mate. Just too many problems. User, lib, modules. So many kernel modules. Why, why haven't you pruned them? Is that really what it is? It's just kernel modules. <sighs> Let's remove these kernels then. I don't give a crap anymore. Just delete it. Go away. It's going to take a while. And I want to get rid of the licorice. Light went out and you fell asleep waiting for it to come back. Pathetic. Also high. High, I should, probably should have led with that first. Um, I'm trying to use Linux. Okay. Oh, Linux is hung now? Oh, I put a thing there. Okay, this should free up some disk space. Because apparently Linux does not remove old kernel modules. Yay, there. Two and a half gig. Perfect. I don't know why it's still using so much, but I'm going to think about it later. How are you doing? During to trying to use like great mistake Linux is only create only so create new. What is that message? I, I can't pass that. That doesn't make any sense. All right. So this does actually like get it offset print format 
and print format is set to zero there. So is the linker just messing with me? Am I being punked? Um, no mind controlled allowed in chat. I'll just put mine there for the section. That seems fine. That seems reasonable. And now let's look at the memory map and see where that ends up. So we have data mine at that. And so that has to be Am I okay? Hang on. I'm praying to Jesus here. I'm praying to Jesus. Hold me, hold me, Jesus. Linux is not made to be used, it's only created. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically it, isn't it? Uh, it's like Linux is half of a manic depressive um, episode where you're like, you, you've, you've created it. How do I turn off notifications for Facebook? Okay, sorry, I'm getting notifications from someone. God, my brain is imploding at this. There's like three levels, low disk space still. What the hell happened now? Why? I think I have enough. Please, Linux, just a few gigabytes for my use. 613 megabytes. It's going down like 100 megabytes at a time. What? Where's all the space gone? I know where the space is gone. Hang on. Hang on. The space is gone because even though I deleted the X session errors file, I need to reboot my computer or re-log out because X is still writing to it and there's nothing I can do about it to turn off. Watch this. Watch this. That didn't fix it. Maybe I need to like. Oh, there's a dot old file, huh? No, they're all gone. What is using up all my space? Yeah, you can, you can leave. Just leave me to this. I just don't want. I just don't want Linux to eat my space. I want to have hard drive space I can use to do things. Is that 
Is that unreasonable? Yeah, I rebooted it and I got nine gigabytes back because DOSBox is flooding X session errors and I can't disable X session errors because I have to be calm. I have to be calm. I have to be cool. I have to focus on how do I disable logging? Um, how do I disable logging? Disable logging. How do I disable logging? How do I disable logging? It doesn't let me. It doesn't let me. It doesn't let me. Okay, I've got all the CPU and never stuff. How about I just do never? How do I disable all logging? How? I just don't want my hard drive to fill up. I just don't want my hard drive to fill up. You know what? Let's let's not disable logging. Let's disable. Let's log it to. Um, where are we? Let's log to dev. Let's log to dev null. There, solved. Solved. You can now log to dev null. It's still logging. Oh, maybe, maybe it has to be in like home Jukia DOS log. There, I'll just name it DOS log. What we'll log now? There, there, it's solved, isn't it? Okay, back on track. Sometimes you just... I don't know what to say. Let's just try and read this. Memory layout. Okay, so we're going back to our bot um, file. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, my head is like caved in. My brain is so small. All right. So this is the memory map, but this is relocated. How does XE file get relocated? How? Okay, DOS XE file relocation. Let's just look at the DOS format. Let's use let's use Linux tools. How do I set the type? Um We're just going to look at the exe file and we're going to read what it tells us. It's not a P file. Object dump um, DOS exe file. Ida? And disassem comes with NASM. Maybe that's what I want. Let's install NASM. Okay, let's try disassembling this exe file. So, and disassembly. 
this is M, um, bots.exe. It's not helpful at all. Okay, well, we're going to use what com tools then. So let's go up to our drive C and we're going to look into our Whatcom directory, go to bin W and see what files we have. CWC, DOS4G, DOSServ, XE to bin, um, mad x86, God. All right. W dump, W dis. Uh, okay, let's just try doing our best with these tools. So W dump bot.exe. Perhaps there's more, okay. Yeah, dump all, no, don't dump, it's too much. Okay, I said all. Okay. Um, we want to see fix up information and executable stuff. All right, segment offset. It shows us the segments that are in the, in the thing. Number of relocation items, CH. So that's like 13. Um, it's weird because the CPU does the relocation too. Okay, let's run help again. Can you list? Um, show global information, no debug information. Nope. So there's no debug information. And we want to dump segment data, I guess. Okay. This is just, okay. Confusing. It's confusing. I'm confused. Let's read this 16 bit memory model thing. Memory layout. Following describes the segment ordering. So it puts code that's not from D group first, then all the other stuff that's not from D group. Then it does D group, beg data, um, then it does everything else that's in D group, then BSS and stack. And so we should see that in the bot map. So those aren't in any groups. I don't know why my stuff is just trash there, huh? That's group auto. Is it automatically putting stuff in D group? Um, that would make, kind of make sense. There's constant, constant underscore data. And there's also strings. Um, okay. Whatevs. <clears throat> Whatevs, I'm not mad. So let's see, let's open up our assembly file. The code class contains the executable code. Okay, so for our code class, we need it to be underscore text, got it. The far data, and we don't have any far data.
So text should be after beg data, which is begin data. Um, so beg text, text for our data now. There's no big data. Um, so let's just put, let's search up what these are, okay? Whatcom underscore data and there's underscore cons. So whatcom, and then there's data down here. There's no size there. So those are just empty. So I guess we'll just put it in underscore data then, whatever. Okay, let's search up. What com constant data? <clears throat> oh, so someone has written a program here and I'm guessing it's not working. So underscore data for read, write data, const for string literals. Yeah, we'll put it in const then. Yeah, so we want to put this in the same stuff that same place that all the other stuff is. We're not trying to make a separate module. So we do W make. And we look at the new bot map. And we're going to look for. Hmm my file, ASM run in print format. We probably don't need to even export that. So we do W make on that. And then we do W this object bot hello dot object. And we do more. And so it pushes object, pushes L dollar sign three there. Yeah, that should make sense. And that should be remapped in the actual bot thing. So let's do bot and let's find our code. ASM run. I don't want to be in watches. This interface, I hate it. Okay, take me there. Go. Enter. Help. Okay, help me. The search menu, is that what I want? No. Take me back, please. I can't tab to the, okay. Maybe it's AB. Um, functions, please. Take me to the functions. It doesn't have anything about it that I saw. Great. Great. 
if the cancel isn't, I can't press the cancel button. Okay, so that's escape. I don't want to break on execute. I want to go to it. Take me there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, S A W S D. Ah. Hate this debugger. I do. I hate it. Great, we're at ASM run now. We have our code, we have our data segment, whatever. And it pushes one E to F here. So let's look at that. Data. Memory at data segment one E to F. It's off. It's just the wrong address. What the heck? Okay, so one E two F. Where is that in the map? Is it even in the map? It's not because it gets relocated. And I don't have any tools or anything to figure this out. Okay, let's search up um, WASM relocation. WASM, oh great, the web assembly. Great, Whatcom assembler relocation. Are you serious? What? Why are you here? That's not the correct position. Why would it be that? I don't understand. Why is the linker doing this? Okay, let's look in, let's poke around in the data, data segment. Where does it get 1E2F from? Okay, let's try and figure out what's the difference between 1E2F. Memory at one uh, dollar segment 1E2F. So 1632, it's off by 32. Why? So 
I need to put more stuff here, like use 16. Let's look at MTCP, MTCP code. I think it would be in TCP lib, but it'd be ipasm.assembly. It's not going to have any strings here, is it? Definitely not. No, that's not helpful. Why is it off by 16? Uh, sorry, 32. Is it always off by 32? What if we change the segment to just like, uh, hello, section hello. And we do file quit, we do w make, and it freezes. <clears throat> Oops, it's not bot.com, it's bot.exe. File, run, code, search, find, break, find, execute to ASM run. And what do we have here? Um, it pushes six onto the stack there. Okay, so let's humor that. Um, if we do data memory at alt six, data segment zero 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 six. Nope, it's not near there at all. Is it even in memory? It doesn't get added to memory. Right. I'm so ready to just throw this project across the table. Um, who knew that it would be for this reason? All right, let's go to the NASM forums. It's down. Of course it's down. Let's go to the archive. There. Now we can hopefully get some help. All right, programming with NASM, example code using NASM. Now we can't search because this is the web archive and it can't, it can't archive any of the URLs. All right, so we don't have any help today. Nope, nothing. Yeah, no, it's, it's the forum is there. It just does not choose to work. Does it work in my regular browser? Nope, all right, well, no NASM. So I guess now we're going to have to, uh, I guess we could use Google. All right. All 
Oh, it's going to dox me though. Why? I'm trying to move the frigging scroll bar out of the, out of the bottom and it just puts it there. All right. You know what? I'm just going to Google in another tab. All right. So sorry about this. All right. Site forum.nasm.us. Um, data relocation. Printf. Nope. Um, printf. How to printf from simmed registers? What the fuck? No, don't do that. Use printf in NASM. I'm clicking the links and they're all down. Uh, does Google have a cache? I don't know how to use Google cache. I don't know how to use Google. All right. All right. Um, June, 2014. NASM doesn't. Okay. Um, printf relocation. Calling C functions from ASM. Um, let's try opening this up in the web archive. Oh, thanks Google. Thanks Google. Thanks for, thanks for making a link and mangling it today. Thanks. I needed that. Great. Mangle all the links I right click on. Why don't you? Great. So how do you do it? How do you? Can I use the forum from here using NASM? Maybe. Okay, so let's just examine this problem a little bit more. So we have our memory map. I don't know what the heck this memory map is. What is this? This isn't a memory map. This isn't real. None of this is what actually ends up on the computer. Like it's got it's real segments here. Computer doesn't use these segments, does it? Maybe does DOS load stuff in from the end? Oh, I, it's taken so long to hit a button and doesn't indicate it. Okay. Okay. We're going to run. We're going to run F7 to run. Um, we're going to view the assembly. Window CPU registers. Yeah. So our data segment is 22E2. Where's that on the map? It's not on the map. It's not on the map. Okay, that's fine. Um, and we have bot.sim. Let's see what this is. Um, it's an elf format. Um, okay. That's just gathering some information here. So, okay. So we're at, we're at 422C 
And so the text, so where is main here? 420D. Window assembly 420D. Okay, so main is going there. So, segment zero may be special a bit. Maybe segment zero special, or maybe it just doesn't get offset. Who knows? Um, let's see, const, where is const? Const is 9A8. Um, there's also big data. So 9A8. Okay, 9A8. There's nothing there. Okay, 9A8. So how is that? How is it, why is there a two there? How does DOS load exe files? All right, let's search up DOS MZ file format. It's a relocatable executable. So, header size, initial segments, relocatable stack segment, relocatable segment address. I don't know what that is. After loading the executable into memory, the program goes through every entry in the relocation table. For each relocation entry, the loader adds the start of the segment address into the word value pointed to. <clears throat> okay. So initial program state, CS equals the value specified in the header, relocated by adding the start segment address to it. For each relocation entry, the loader adds the start segment address. What's the start segment address? What's the start segment address? Maybe Wikipedia will help. Maybe whatever this is, SREC Intel. The Intel MCS 86, no. Okay, no, I don't wanna, do I'll donate later, all right? contains relocation information, which allows multiple segments to be loaded at arbitrary memory addresses. So this must be getting compiled to some segments. Um, creating a DOS executable. And 
I imagine the segments are offset or something. Separate segments for the code data and stack. All right. So we would have the code segment, the data segment and the stack segment. Stack register pointer. The data segment register normally contains the same value as the code segment. And I guess, what? So how is it relocatable? Where's the relocation? All right, let's look for some sources. Please, I'm trying to read. All right, so we have this article from 2012. Um, number of relocations, size of header. So you add the relocation factor, which is the start segment of where the program is loaded. So code segment, my seg segments, my seg ends, and start. And that would turn into start, stop, length, code, and my seg. My seg is exactly one segment above code. There's only two segments. Sorry. The segment relocation. Should be. Segment relocation should be that the address can change but the offset shouldn't because segments can be any 64k place just bumped over by 16 bytes so if we search up <coughs> NASM use 16. What does that mean? Bit 16. I don't need to specify that. Okay, section or segment. So let's see what happens in C land. C land. <laughs> All right, let's quit out. Um, we close DOSBox because it's just broken. I've touched it, I've run it, I've run the bot program and now the bot program is gonna be broken. No, I don't wanna make a folder, but thank you for not telling me my hard drive is out of space. Okay, so Let's just say we dummy out everything and we just do a print F um, of a variable of 
of my data, which will equal hello there. Hello there. With a new line. And then we'll print out my data. And that should get put in the const section, I think. All right, let's see if we can W make that and then see what it compiles to. Um, so let's disassemble the object bot bot. Offset car const my data there. So let's see, where is my data? I can't search in this, can I? No. I can probably just scan the screen for it. It's not there. So let's just create a temporary file called T and then quickly view this. So hello there, const to paragraph U16. So should we be putting our stuff in const two? And then const para used 16. And then when we go to use it, it moves offset car const near my data. And that gets compiled to bot. And if we open that up in the disassembler and we view that as what is it it would be assembly it moves 230 um and if we do window sorry data memory at ds2360 we have hello there so could it really just be that I used the wrong segment? That seems completely implausible. It did say para. Is that something I'm missing? Okay, so let's run wmake again. I think I fixed the code, so it's not going to... No, I didn't fix it. Okay. Only beautiful people can read this. What? Hello? That's not working. Okay. Um, power U16. Let's just try smashing some of those words into it. See what happens. Para U16. doesn't work. Let's go back to the bot thing here and we'll just do um, let's just do it my test and we'll just do hello world and then we'll do printf the hello world, uh, printf my test. And we'll just return zero there. And then we shall see what the map says.
Let's check the map. So it should be, what did I call it? My test. Const care near my test. Two four four two six F four. And then where does my thing go? If I can find the DOS thing to W make it. So we have my test there at 24426F4. And then print format is at 2442359. Same module. And 244 is null, I guess. Doesn't make much sense, but whatever. So if we do WD bot and we do window assembly, it looks up 26F4. So let's look that up. Let's do data memory at data memory at data memory at data segment 26F4. Two six F four. Um, what registers do we have? Data segment one B eight O two six F four. So if we do memory at 1B8026F4, there's nothing there. Why is there nothing there? Um, let's just step, let's do F7. Uh, window assembly, um, let's go up to here. What? Push word pointer two six F four. All right, so what's on the stack? Um, data stack one E four F zero duty DDA. What? Are, huh? All right, so on the stack, let's go to the stack. Um, we have a stack segment is 1B80. And the stack position is 988, which is one E four F, but we didn't push that push word pointer. 
1B802641E4F. Push word pointer. All right. What does that mean? Frigging CISC architectures. All right, I might be looking at this wrong. So, 00C83A, so 3AC8. Is that on our stack? No. Push word pointer 26F4. Is it dereferencing what's at 26F4? Um, oh, there it is. 4F1E. 801B. Is that a relocation? That's a, that's a file pointer, I think. Printf wants a file pointer? Okay, so what if we just do window memory at um, 1B8026F4. Wait, no, that loads just the word. So data segment 1E4F. Okay. 1E4F. So in the map, that should be 1E4F. Two six F four. Right, that's a pointer, that's not an actual value. Oh boy. So that value is pointing to some other value, of course. All right, well, let's try fixing this. Let's do W make. Let's check the bot again. And do window assembly. So it moves two three fifty and then prints it. Okay. And that would be data memory at um, data segment two three fifty. That says hello world. Um, then if we, that seems to work. And if we go to my test, which isn't here. All right, well, let's look at how it does relocation then.
Um, so we have Hello World. It's in this segment's 0, 0, 0, 0, because that's the cons that are in it. And I'm guessing when we go to push it and print it down, down in main, Um, offset car const near my test. So if we just go to hello assembly, what if we just do move? Wait, should I be moving it into like AX first? I'm not sure. Let's un let's remove this zero and then do W make. And then just confirm that it's complete broken garbage. Yep. Um, let's quit. And let's play around with this. So let's do move AX offset print format. Then we do push AX. Let's do W make for that. Um, line 21, maybe it doesn't have to be offset. And then let's do bot. Nope, that still does not fix it. We need to simplify this example. Let's go over here. CD bot, bimbot.cpp. Um, and then we're going to do print my test ASM print return zero. And then we're going to make a new file called not a new file, a new routine in hello.assembly called global um, ASM print. And all it's going to do is wait, is that a tab? No, uh, it's going to push BP. Um, then it's going to push print format and it's going to call printf and it's going to go move and it's going to go uh, move AX zero and then ret. Okay, that seems somewhat reasonable. Um, let's see if that will compile and that way we won't have to deal with all the networking stuff. RC has not been compiled. Uh, what? Oh, um, int RC. So now we run symbol printf not defined. Excuse me. Oh, okay, I'm excused. Got to put the underscore at the end. Okay, if we run bot, that's weird. It does the wrong thing. What if we put my test there? Undefined symbol my test. Oh, it's probably got a underscore after it because it's C. Ah, 
undefined symbol. Maybe it's because I have to do extern my test or extern C. Yeah, I need to put it in here because this is C++. Maybe I need to remove the underscore now because it's a variable and not a. No, nope, it's just, it's not going to. Okay. No, I'm not going to get angry. I put it in extern C. What does it want? What does it want? What does it want? Okay, new plan. What if we do um, extern R and we change that to be print format? And then we remove the my test stuff and we try using print format in both cases. I'm not using my test. Go away. Undefined symbol print format. Probably have to put like a underscore after it. Print format. Symbol print format not defined. Maybe I need to, yeah, so I didn't fix it up here. Undefined symbol print for that. All right. Maybe we just have to put an underscore in front of it because it's, it's not a function, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, it just doesn't, it doesn't give a shit. Huh? Well, that's fine. What if I just do print format? What if I put an underscore there? What if I just make a function that will Maybe we can use my test there. And then we'll just, I guess, brute force if the dash goes at the end or afterwards, or we could check the object file. Is it even in here? Underscore my test. It's because I'm not putting an underscore there, isn't it? That's fine. 
we're going to W make this now. Let's see if that works. Oh. And that just freezes the computer now. Because I didn't pop BP. I don't even need to push BP here. No, that just freezes. It just freezes. It just freezes. It just freezes. Why? Let's let's step through this. Okay, we have a move there. Nice, nice. Um, we're just going to F eight. Yep. We call, we call printf. Um, that's cool. That's fine. Let's step over that one. So it puts 2350 there. Um, step over is F10. Yeah, and then it adds two to the stack pointer. So is printf returning something on the stack? Probably. Okay, and then let's call into, you know what, let's just, just do pop. Okay, so then we call into this code, which is uh, run F8. And then it's got two, two, three fifty there. So it seems to be handling relocations. So what if we make print format? Something C can use for the entire family. Let's just W make this and see if popping the stack helps. Print format not defined. You're not defined. My test two, my test two. Segment specified on redeclaration. Yeah, that's fine. Global my test two. All right, so let's do bot. Okay, so popping from printf, that's one error. That's one reason why this clown car is not working. Let's do my test two and see if it's going to work now. So we have the same error. It's just the symbol is not, uh, do I need to align it? Do I need to align it to a paragraph? A line equals 16. Maybe we need to align it. Maybe that's all this is. Maybe it needs to be aligned to 32. Yep, 
maybe it needs to wait what the hell I did not change the value to be hello world. Oh, that kind of works. What if we remove the align? What? White, mmm, 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 very angry, very angry. Me mad. So my C code can call and print using my variable my test two here. And I can call and print using the variable my, my test here, which is defined in C, but I can't call a goddamn, I'm getting angry. I don't want to be angry. Um, I can't, I just can't call a variable. I can't use a variable. So what's different? What's the, what's different? Okay. You know what? This is fine. This is fine. I will just write the same assembly and we can compare it. We'll just compare the assembly. We'll just step through it. So it moves to 370. That's definitely the place. And then it prints it. And then it calls ASM print. So let's um, run to cursor. So that's F7 here. Um, let's check out the data at um, data segment 2370. Great, hello world. Perfect. It's above incoming. Amazing. How do you close windows? You can't. All right. So then we go to assembly. Then we're going to step over it. No, nope, that stepped into it. That stepped into it. Uh, until return. Okay. And then we're going to step into this. And it says, it says 0150 there. Why does it say that? Why does it say 150? Why has it coded 150 there? Why does it code 150 there if it's the same variable? Why is it writing 150? If we do, if we even go to memory at DS0150, what is that? What is that? Why is that just random junk? We're not going to get mad. We're going to restart this and just compare the assembly code. So it moves the value into AX and pushes AX. Is that some magic trick? Could it be that this is my downfall? So let's move AX my test to and then push AX. Ha ha ha. That should be fine. No, nope, that's not it. Um, move AX, my test two. All right, well, let's compare the, let's compare the linker values. So let's do W this, W this object bot, bot T. And then hello, it can be T2. 
and let's just compare them. Let's visually inspect them. So T2, it goes move AX offset underscore my test to. That seems reasonable. And then it has my test to here. That seems reasonable too. Neither of those are 150. And then over here, we have our main function, which should do my test. We'll find out where it uses my test. Um, same code, B80000. What? Why is that B81111100? Um, huh? It probably gets fixed up. I mean, Does it matter that much? So it definitely is able to figure out the segment thing. So what's hex 1100? How do we get to such a value? Okay, so uh, we have move AX2370. Can we disassemble that any further? Hex, um, 133B, um, Intel x86 assembler. Online. It might be this, the second one. Um, Ah, uh, it's disassembler, because I'm putting the machine code in. I think it's, OD, I think it's disassembler.io. It's got an IO domain, so I trust it a bit more. I think my control key on my keyboard is being a little weird disassembly in the cloud. I don't give a, all right. So 1338. That, no way, it's 133B. Or maybe it's 3B13. Wait, no, these seem like the locations. Hang on. Um, let's just run down to what's trace step over F10. Okay. So we move there and then let's go data memory at code segment 133B, uh, B870, B870-2350. B eight seventy twenty three fifty, or is it the other way around? 
it is a little Andean. Um, so it could be 70 B8. 70 B8. I mean, if we look over here, it's B8000000. So let's just try that. B8000000. Platform. Oh, that's 386. We want. Um, 16 bits, please. That would be 8086. 80. It'd be at the top if it was 8086. 80. Does it, ha does it not have 8086? This is the life we live in, this discrimination. You have all these junk architectures here but no 8086 z80 uh that's 8 bit um 286 no that's that is no 286 would work i think 8088 there's the i960 8086. All right, so then in memory, we have B, B8 7023. And that gives us 2370. Okay. Um, so ideally that's what we want. So let's now step. Um, window code, I think it's that. Um, yeah, so 10, 10, 10, step into move AX0150. So what is that? Um, let's do data memory at code segment would it be ip yeah b8501 5001 how could you possibly How could you possibly get that? Let's look at the memory dump. I don't see any 50. Okay, let's look for my test. Two. That's at 2370. It says 2370 right there. What are you doing, Nassim? What are you doing, Linker? What, what, what is happening? Why am I, am I tripping? Why is that not being? The wrong value is being put there. Why? Okay, well maybe we can look up the, we can look at the XE. Um, we have a, we have the disassemble, we have, we have the, the NASM dist. Um, and disassemble bot.xe t3. And let's see if we can identify anything here. So we're looking for the, uh, this doesn't show any data, but we're generally going to be looking for um, push B81100. No, so that's getting changed, I think. Um, 
what address does this get put at? 135, uh, 134B. One, three, four, B. Not here. Thirteen, four, B is not here. <laughs> is there any code that I recognize here? Are there some commands I can run? or end disassembler. Maybe I need to give it a different, different thing. Um, B16. Was it not in 16 bit mode? So where would it go to? One, three, four, B. What's happening in my life? Zero, 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 one, three, four, B, one, three, four. 8B, one, E, five, Six two F two F five six. Where is the code? I don't know how this maps at all. This is just a memory map. Are there any other tools? Other tools that we could use? The SIM file, perhaps. Or just this, 134C. One, three, four, C. 240F. This doesn't look like the code at all. B850 0150. I don't see any of that nearby. Um, 585D B800. B80600. How do I even know if this is an actual area. Oh, this is so opaque. This is so opaque. Is the form up? Nope. Um, Unless I can just suddenly figure out what's going on. Um, I mean, I, I just don't know. Uh, hex, I, okay. Do we have cutter? We probably have cutter. Flat pack list, flat pack search cutter. Maybe cutter can help us. No. <sighs> cutter disassembler. Let's grab this. And maybe, maybe this will save our day. I just, I need to be able to look at the exe file. Maybe I'll gain some insight then. God. 
just going to blow my brains out over this. You know. This this bot. Happy end of the year, by the way. It's it's the 29th. Um <laughs> happy end of the year. Um Okay, let's open the uh, desktop bot, drive C code bot.exe file. And let's just open that up. All right. Um, disassembly, so that's the entry point we're looking for. Um, can I, can I import some debug symbols, please? It does not look like it. All right. So we are looking for, I mean, I don't even know what this memory map means. It's not a map of the memory. Um, it has some offsets. Okay, my, it was called my something, my test. So that would be 2350 somewhere. 2350? Something, something, zero, zero, two, three, fifty. Push BP. This might be strings. Okay, let's search up. Let's look for, um, hello. What did I even write in it? What is it called? Hello world strings. Okay. We're going to find hello world. Where are you at? 60, 80. What? Hmm. Okay. We'll ignore that now. We'll just look, we'll look for, we'll look for the stuff that gets relocated, huh? Um, can we find main? We have our symbols file. Um, How do we use this? For 386. Oh, it's do it's obj dump. Oh. I need a hex editor. Hex dump c bot dot sim. All right, and we're going to find my test. Um, one. That would be my test. Uh, there's like four dots in front of it. One, two, three, four. M underscore M Y T E S T zero. That could be a terminator. Zero four twenty seven zero. 
So maybe we should look for that 04270. 04270. 2070. No. What the hell am I doing with my life that I have gotten to this point? This is the graph. So we have entry point. I imagine that's the start or something. BX1. Don't think that's the code. It calls stack or something. Maybe. It moves something into AX. Oh, I'm just really, really out of my depth here. Import PDB. Can I generate a PDB? Um, open Whatcom PDB. Does that exist for DOS? No, no, it doesn't. Is this the end of the DOS bot? It could be. Um, I don't want to alarm anyone, but this seems pretty insurmountable. Unless like we just, just make this like a section of my text and my data and don't put them in the group. And just see what happens then. Could be cool. Okay, it does. It just makes happy faces. Um, maybe, maybe we should put them in the group. still happy faces. Um, so maybe we should put it in, maybe I should call it text or something. And then this can just be whatever section data. Section class equals data. Do I even need to put a name? That does nothing, it prints nothing. What do you mean it prints nothing? Why would it print nothing? So I do that and then I just make this be data and group D group with no actual name. And that just does nothing. Um, that's weird. What if we change it to be null? What if we just brute force this and go through all the different categories here we have? Um, underscore null, underscore after null. Well, let's put underscore null here. Uh, 
Alright, what about after all? There is two L's there. So it's only doing it for some junk here. What about underscore data? Maybe that will fix my issues or maybe not because I don't know what my issue is. So the linker will probably, where is it, the loader? Const strings data stack. Let's just do data here. That's weird. I guess it moves it around a bit. Let's put it in strings. I don't know. I'm just more confused than anything. And I'm going to end it here. Um, maybe end myself too. Who knows? Probably not. Probably bad idea. Probably don't do that. Um, I'm glad I don't have my webcam here because I just like, I look completely trashed. Like, look at this. What is this? This disgusts me. I hate it so much. Look at this. What is this? How come C code can call my test too, but I can't, I own this, it's mine. This is pathetic. If the people who made this were still alive, I would want a refund. And I didn't even pay for it. So I don't know, is the NASM forum back up? Nope, it's not up. Well, thanks for coming to my stream.